Hello everyone! I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today I would like to speak about link cost in OSPF. So let's get started. OSPF uses cost as the value of the metric and uses the default reference bandwidth of 100 megabits per second for cost calculation. OSPF assigns OSPF link cost to the interface, which is calculated using the formula cost equals to reference bandwidth divided by interface bandwidth. The lowest cumulative cost value between source and destination networks will be selected for the routing table after SPF algorithm calculations. The OSPF cost for common network interfaces using the default reference bandwidth 100 megabit per second are provided in the following table. As you can notice from this table, there is no difference between OSPF cost for interface uh, fast Ethernet and uh, OSPF cost for interface 10 gigabit uh, Ethernet. So to fix this problem, the reference bandwidth to be changed to high values, but too high value can cause issue as the OSPF metric field has only 16 bits. So cost cannot exceed value 65,535. To change the reference bandwidth for all interfaces associated with the OSPF process, use the following command under the OSPF process. Auto cost reference bandwidth and then you have value bandwidth in megabits per second. If reference bandwidth is changed on one router, it should be also changed on all OSPF routers to ensure the SPF uses the same logic to prevent routing loops. The OSPF cost can be also changed manually with the command under the interface configuration mode IP OSPF cost and then you have value from 1 to 65535. The pass metric can exceed a 16-bit value as all the link metrics are calculated locally. To verify the OSPF cost on the interface, you can use the following commands. First one, show IP OSPF interface, and then you need to specify which interface you want to check. And in the output, you can find the value for cost, OSPF cost. Uh, the other command is show IP OSPF interface brief. And here you can see in the output uh, costs for all your interfaces. To verify configured reference bandwidth, uh, use the command show IP OSPF. And in the output of this command, you can find where your reference bandwidth unit is, and then you can uh, find your configured reference bandwidth. To summarize all information discussed in this topic, I would like to review small configuration example. For this example, I'm going to use topology with four routers and with two areas in OSPF configuration, area 0 and area 1. Uh, and I'm going to play with uh, OSPF cost configuration on the interface as well as with um, configuration of uh, default reference bandwidth. Before we move on to configuration, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel with the notification bell on. Okay, let's get started with configuration example. So I have topology with four routers. All IP addresses already pre-configured on all interfaces on all routers. So I'm going to configure only OSPF, multi-area OSPF is area 0 and area 1. And then just try to play with um, reference bandwidth and OSPF cost. So Let's get started with router 1, show IP interface brief. I have IPs and loopback interface also has IP. Interfaces are up and running, show IP route. There is no OSPF routes, so conf t, router OSPF 100, router ID 111, network 10, 12 0 0 0 0 0 2 5 5 area 0 network 192 uh, 168 0 1 0 0 0 0 area 0 
let's go to router number two show IP interface brief all IPs are configured uh, conf t router OSPF 100 router ID 222 network 10 12 0 0 255 area 0 network 10 23 0 0 255 area 0 and network 192 168 02 0 0 0 0 area 0 let's go to router r3 conf show ip interface brief do show IP interface brief uh, router OSPF 100 uh, router ID 333 network 10 2300 255 area 0 network 10 3400 area 1 Network 192.168.03.0000 area, let's say 0. And the last one, Cisco, show IP interface brief, conf t, router, OSP of 100, router, ID 444, sorry, 4, network uh, 10 3400, 255 area 1, network 192 uh, 168 0, 4, 0, 0, 0, area 1. Let's see what we have now. Show IP OSPF neighbors we i see that we have relationship with um, router with um, router id 333 which is r3 show ip route and we have our routes let's filter out by ospf uh, network one two two three and all our uh, loopback so let's see show ip ospf for now we have reference default reference band is 100 and i don't have uh, ospf cost configured on interfaces so let's go for example Let's start router R1. Auto cost reference bandwidth and let's configure it to 10 gigabit. One, two, three. Uh, we should see changes in our uh, we should see changes in our reference bandwidth. Let's see. Uh, and uh, show IP OSPF. It should be here already. Yes, it was 100. Now we have 10,000. Let's go to next router. Uh, auto cost reference bandwidth uh, 10, 1, 2, 3. As I mentioned in the video previously on the previous slides that if you change auto cost reference bandwidth on one router you need to change reference bandwidth on all routers to prevent um, loops so spf algorithm works correctly and let's go to router r3 auto cost reference bandwidth on 10,000 and router OSPF 100 auto cost uh, reference bandwidth 10 
one two three show IP ISPF uh, including reference and you can see it's changed to 10,000 so now we should have uh, cost uh, on the interface uh, equal uh, equals to 10 let's see show IP uh, route OSPF okay so from network 10 1200 cost is 30 or metric is 30 so this one 10 this one 10 and this one 10 equals to 30 but for 192.168.01 is uh, it is a 31 because uh, show interface loop back it has bandwidth um, 8 gigabit so equals to uh, if you divide uh, reference bandwidth 10 gigabit to 8 it, it's gonna be 1 because it um, rounds it to the upper to the one so everything is correct and now let's try to change uh, OSPF cost on the interface let's say we're gonna change it on router R1 interface G01 IP OSPF cost and uh, let's say 50 let's go and check what we have it should uh, taking it should uh, change uh, this one and this one show IP route OSPF now we can we have 70 and we have 71 it means that uh, 50 plus 10 plus 10 70 and for look back 50 plus 10 plus 10 and plus 1 for look back interface and one more comment that I wanted to show for show uh, show IP or SPF interface brief okay we can see uh, costs uh, on all our interfaces and show uh, IP for SPF interface G01 there is a cost only for specific interface and the, the last command uh, show IP OSPF I already showed this one uh, uh, reference reference to show configured uh, reference bandwidth on the router so this is uh, everything I wanted to show thank you for your attention Thank you very much for your attention today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please show your support to this video by hitting like button. I hope to see you soon in my next videos. Uh, but for now, just ciao ciao.